Research has been fundamental uh, to our ability to conquer HIV and AIDS. We haven't got there yet, but uh, truly, we now have the tools to get there. Uh, and clearly, more research will be needed to finish the job. But the reality is that when we started this work, we didn't know what hit us. We didn't know uh, where it came from or, and, and, and what, how we were going to get out of it. And it was only because we got ourselves organized to methodically ask the questions, get the answers, and invest on, on changing our standards of care uh, based on those responses that today we can tell you for sure that we can control this epidemic. So based on the work that we have done in British Columbia uh, of expanding antiretroviral therapy, uh, uh, basically making it available to every person infected with HIV, really we were, we were bringing life-saving strategies and not just the pills but the strategy, the whole package, to communities that traditionally have been uh, underserved treatment not only decrease morbidity and mortality among people infected with HIV, but actually was capable of stopping transmission. And this was uh, revolutionary. By 2006, we had a body of data that allowed us to formally make the call uh, for treatment as prevention, as a means to changing the course of the epidemic. Uh, by 2030, uh, we should be able to decrease the burden of disease, morbidity, mortality, and transmission by approximately 90% globally, having the opportunity, the unique opportunity, over a lifetime to see the birth of an epidemic, which became a pandemic, and then transform it into a sporadic event globally.